This is London Radio, September 4th, 1941. The unending war against the Nazis is now tearing our families apart. Because of the nightly firebombing, thousands of children have been sent away from their parents to stay in the countryside with friends and relatives. And here in London, 23 persons have still not been accounted for from last night's bombing. In other news... It won't be like London out here, children. The air raids don't come out this far. Oh, Uncle Diggory. I just wish Mother and Father could be here safe with us. I remember the Father said not to worry about them, that the war would be over soon. That's true, Peter. Don't worry, Susan. Isn't this the best super house you've ever been in? The gardens, the statues, that magnificent spire. The history is all in the book. What book? Wobbleton Manor, that red mausoleum, is more correct than the British Museum. It's rooms that scatter its rambles for miles. A hodgepodge of odd architectural styles. Cellars and dungeons are ancient and striking, most probably Celtic or possibly Viking. The mansion is Gothic and much of its view. The late Anglo Norman and parts of the ceiling. The splendid old tower is high over nest. Combined with a very inversion of version, grotesque. But the windows and doors of the the place. A daylight should be proud of just shadow with space. Creating a stranger forgettable aura of firmness and grace. I don't care about windows and doors. I want to go home to London. You don't care about doors and windows. Why, when I was your age, opening doors and windows gave me half my education. Doors and windows, open and close. They hide or expose all the world to your view. Gates and shutters, lock and unlock, to beckon or block wonders waiting for you. Now doors will never yield to doubters who go around moping. But if you're full of hope, you're holding the key that will open each door and window, window and door, and open new worlds to explore. I'm not talking about architecture, architecture of possibilities. Do you see? I think I do. Doors and windows, bolt and unbolt, and only adults would want to go through. <laughs> and you will find your doors wherever your destiny plots you, for you and you alone determine what spurs you or stops you. That's it! For if you are open inside, then doors and windows will stop you no more. They'll swing themselves by for you. Stand right aside for you. Lightly slide for you. Shall we provide for you? Wonderful worlds to Baby, isn't that that cold? Or 
Where are we? I'll find that out. You stay right here. Next is lamppost. Wait, Edwin, don't leave me alone. Hello. Oh, oh my. Oh, you scared me. Oh. Are you a daughter of Eve? I'm Lucy. Lucy Pevensey. What they call a girl? Naturally. Oh, fancy that now. A human, here, right here. Oh, well, excuse me, I've never seen a human before. Oh, well, what are you? Oh, I'm a fawn, of course. My name's Tomness. I've never met a fawn before. This is all so strange. Tell me, how did you get to Narnia? Narnia? What's that? Oh, this is our world, Narnia. You're, oh, I see. I'm in another place. It's somewhere where I come from. Oh, I'm sorry, you're freezing. Would you like to come back to my cave for um, tea and cakes? Cakes, yeah, cakes. Oh, cakes. yes. Where do you come from? I just came to the wardrobe. Wardrobe? Is there war in the land of wardrobe? Yes, a horrible war. Right this way. Lucy! Lucy, where are you? Just like her to get lost. Just like her to wander off. What is that? Who? Me? Oh, I'm Edwin. Well, I'm the Queen. The Queen of Narnia. Get your body there, you! I beg your pardon, Majesty. I must be lost. Where am I? This is Narnia. My land of beautiful, never-ending winter. In any time she wants it, snow! are you? Creature? I'm a boy, your highness. A boy? A son of Adam? A human? Are there others like you here? Well, my sister Lucy's with me, and my older brother and sister are back to the house. Well, well, that makes four of you. Four? Uh-huh. I mean, yes, your majesty. What are you staring at? My poor, lost little lamb. Is there anything you want? Well, I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> hungry? I have just the thing. There's a tantalizing candy no one can resist. All it takes is just a single bite. When you try this choice confection, suddenly your tongue will do a gentle.
prince. A prince? Yes, Prince Edmund, and someday King Edmund. Your Majesty, I think I'm sued by temperament to be royalty, <laughs> if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> Not at all. That is exactly the way a prince should feel. But before we can proceed with your crowning, there is one thing. What's that? Your brother and sisters, you must bring them to me. But why? Just one of our Narnian traditions. The family of the new prince must be present to see him crowned. After that, they would become mere courtier servants under you. Way, way under me? The very bottom. <laughs> <laughs> but for my prince, I have storehouses full of Turkish delight to eat whenever you like. There, in our palace across the frozen lake. Storehouse full? Yes. Now, bring the others to me as soon as you possibly can. But keep this all a secret from them. That will increase the fun. Uh, you can all walk across. The ice is safe. My wolves will meet you on the other side. Wolves? They won't hurt you. They'll take you to me. Remember? I have all the Turkish delight a prince could want. Oh! The palace! Summon Fenris and his wolves. Tell him humans are here. Child, don't even ask about that now. Why? Is this something horrible? Mr. Tundas, haven't it ever been spring? Yes. A long time ago. I remember when the white stag roamed, and if you caught him, you were granted three wishes. Oh, the woods were green and warm, and all the creatures of Narnia loved one another. How beautiful you make it sound. Can't imagine how beautiful it was before the snow came. How beautiful it was. Just think of springtime becoming summer. That's how it always was in Narnia. The days were warm then. The skies were always clear. There were no storms then. And people felt no fear those days of heaven. That magical glow, you had to be there in Narnia to know. Where did summer go and won't it ever come again? No questions, child, it isn't safe to pry. Days have all gone by. I can't imagine how beautiful it was. We all felt free then. Now no one ever does because the snow came. The endless snow, but life was lovely once long ago. Professor! 
say. Let's go exploring. We can cross the lake. The ice is safe. We better not. There's a witch here. A witch? Can't any such things as witches. You know that, Lou. There is one here, and the wolves work for her. There aren't any wolves here either. I haven't seen a soul since I've been here. And neither has she! You're a beast of a liar! You know that she is, Susan, that I have a cry. Edmund, if you tease her once more, I'll thrash you. She's all right. Come on. The last one across the frozen lake is an ninny. Edmund, no. Professor Diggory has seen her. Oi! You there! Who said that? Don't you be asking us questions, lad. How do we know you're not something the witch brood? There is a witch. Aye, lass. Well, who are you? I'm a beaver, I am. And this is me picker in life. They eat humans, all right. Ow! I know that. You don't have to break me ribs to make your point. Oh, it was just a little love poke. A love poke? More like a sort of battery. You're no, always complaining, you I'm just I'm trying to show you a little bit. Yeah. Can you please stop arguing long enough to tell us what's going on? We've been waiting for you. We've got to get to the stone table. What? They don't know. You better tell them. Tell us what. Well, listen up here. What? Do you each take a vow of silence not to speak a word of this to anybody? I do. Yes. All right, go ahead. Now, listen up here. Aslan's back in Narnia. Who is Aslan? Shh. He's the great lion. The heart and soul of everything true and beautiful in Narnia. He's raising an army of us loyal ones to fight that cold-hearted snake, the White Witch. But why is this any of our concern? Every creature in Narnia knows the prophecy. When Adam's flesh and Adam's bone sits in Time will be over and done. What does it mean? Well, you're human beings, ain't you? Yes. When four of you humans sit on the royal throne. At the castle of Kerr Paravel. The witch will be finished! Ah, are you saying that we're the four? Well, I ain't saying you are, and I ain't saying you ain't. But what I am saying is that there are four of you. So we got to hurry up. Aslan is the one who's got to decide. So let's get to the show table, because that's where the great lion will be. Hey, where's the other bloke? Edmund, where'd he go? Where is he? I can tell you. I thought she had the smell of a body that was with her and ate her cursed food. He's gone to the white witch now, I'm sure of it. Now I smell it. He's gone to the witch to tell her you're here. Your lives are in dire danger. Our lives? But then we'll You don't to... understand what a taste of bad magic food can do. Oh, Peter, how will we get him back? I'm not sure I want him back. Or if I could get my hands on him. I'm not going to do any good. We've got to talk to you him. You can't worry about that now. We've got to get into the lion before the witch gets our hands on you. Quick, this way. Mr. Ah, Peter, ah, what? Ah, this way. Right. This way, come on! Hurry up, then! Let's go! Come on! Put on that old pen! Thank you, Majesty. Could I have some more toast light? No! First, where are your brother and sisters? That's what I came to tell you. There was an old beaver couple. Beavers? Yes, no one seemed to like you very much. Why, that's Tracy! Tracy and it's beavers! And furthermore, they say you're a witch. What else have you heard? Well, they say Aslan's back. What? Back here? Impossible, unbelievable, absolutely inconceivable. I'll send the most brutal howls I command. They'll fly like the wind to the home of those beavers. That den full of traitors and Aslan believers. They'll spare only the lives of the three mortal children. Find them in chains, bring them to me. But as for the rest, they can do what they will burn and destroy. 
everything I need to know. No! Don't! Please! No! What? Hey! He's turned to stone! You are a witch! Of course I am! And now you know my power. I'll never be a prince or anything else, will I? And you promise! But a witch doesn't have to keep promises! All she has to do is make them! Prepare the sleigh! We must be off! Where are we going? To the stone table. If the wolves don't chew up those beavers, they'll take your brother and sisters that wait for us. Ah! 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 Oh, it sears my tongue to say his name! Tulips! <laughs> Tulips! <laughs> the only time I ever seen a tulip! 
This ain't no simple thought. By heaven, this is spring! Spring, I tell ya! Oh, oh, well, I'll be blessed. The last time he kissed me like that was 20 years ago when I had the flu when he thought I was going to kick the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what a bit of spring can do. What a simple little thing like spring can do when a warm and trend is felt and snow begins to melt. Rooms is all when dead rings start to sprout anew. It's a late when a place of bloom breaks through It's exhilarating as a dream come true It can bring a brand new thing to an old familiar fling It can jolt you like a bolt out of the blue It's amazing what a bit of spring can do Buzzing bee and each flower is gripped by the power. May the female feel the surge of the lovely earth she made. Spring time, it's spring time, it's sunshine. And bird on wing time, blood blue. Like this, splash. Mother Nature's throwing us the grandest bash. Castle stands. It once was 
the house of all our glory, Care Paravel, Care Paravel, for thrones have waited there. The endless ages through, they wait like a half forgotten dream. And Daughters of Eve, the four thrones are waiting for you. The ancient prophecy may soon now come to pass. This land may be as it used to be, a land that is proud and glad and free and you may fulfill your destiny in Camp Paravel, Camp Paravel, right there in Camp Paravel. I must finish instructing my album. Human beings, ain't ya? And Aslan knows you're the right ones for the right time. And Aslan knows what he's doing. Get the children up all! You bring yourself down there! See, it was some undercover work. My plan was... 
I wish to speak with this son of Adam.
hope you don't let us man down. I wouldn't trust you, Dane. You wouldn't give me a chance. You wasn't anybody. Stop it, you two. I'll give you a chance, Ed. Come on, Lou. It's a present for both Christmas. We don't deserve anything. Children, keep your guard up. What is it, Aslan? The witch is approaching. What can she want? If she has a wand, she turns us off to stone. Be calm. She has no wand. She has come under a flag of truce. Advance. State why you have come here. So, Aslan is back. As the old prophecy foretold. Oh, yes, and you live by the letter of every prophecy and law, don't you? I ask you again, why have you come here? I have my rights under the deep magic. The law put into this world at the very beginning. What is it that you want? I claim the boy is my legitimate victim. I have the right to take the life of a traitor. Speak further. Hello. Speak further. The law is clear. All traitors are mine to kill, and I claim that one. We must speak further. Ask no one to turn me over to him. If he does, you only have yourself to blame. Enough, Lou.
Separated. We're lost. We're frightened. What should we do? 
and sacrifices himself in place of one who is guilty, he is granted another life. Quickly, girls, we must go to the witch's castle and help your brothers. Must be the witch's courtyard. Look at all these statues. Peter, we can't retreat any further. What's the matter, plan? I'm afraid plans are pretty useless. We've lost too many. It's only a matter of time before the witch finishes us off. Peter, let me go to the witch and turn myself in. No, Edmund. Ask that sacrifice to for me. If I have that's right, I should do the same for you. With one of us dead, the prophecy of the four thrones falls through. It's our only chance. I can't let you do that. Why not? Because the witch would promise anything, but she'd never let any of us live. We must stand and fight her together, the four of us. Where are the girls? Peter! Edmund! Lucy! Susan! Arslan! But how can that be? It is a miracle. There is no time to explain now. There is only a little time for joy. It is a time for celebration, but we can't. We're trapped here and we've lost most of our army. But there is another army here, young Sir Petak. But they're statues. My people, locked in stone. It is time they were freed. I bring life back for those Frozen and forlorn, feel my breath, awake and be reborn. I can breathe! I can move! Mr. Tumnus! Oh. This is Mr. Tumnus! This must be the last day the White One ever slithers through Narnia to battle! Peter led the other children and his new army into the final battle with the White Witch. The bloody combat went on and on, and the witch's soldiers fell left and right, and so did many of Aslan's followers. Finally, the war seemed to turn to the evil side, and the witch appeared, sensing victory. Death to the humans! An end to the prophecy! Destroy them! But I killed you myself under the deep magic! I know now there is a deeper magic. When one who is innocent sacrifices himself for another, death works backwards so that he may live again. Death! Death can't work backwards! Death no! Death no! Bitch. 
bitter and cold as the seeds of rebirth in its womb. And the heart that seems dead may be sleeping instead to waken at last from its tomb. Oh, it's a king or queen. That's what Aslan said. You can't deny. 